Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we got a special guest appearance from a gentleman from 8-Bit Games out in Nampa. You can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Luke from 8-Bit Gaming out in Nampa, Idaho. Uh, I own a small video game shop, and uh, we're over here at the uh, Library Comic Con in Boise, Idaho, just hanging out and playing some mini games. Yes. Uh, so today's indie game we're going to be playing is Crawl. You guys have seen this. This is uh, developed and published by a company that goes by the name of Powerhood. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this game when it came out for a year ago, and I'm glad to be able to... It's a four-player game, so it's great to play with other people here. Yeah. So we're going to start hopping in here, and you're going to push start. And you can create your own little profile in here. So I'm going to stick with my guy here. And then we're going to turn these AIs to easy for the first playthrough. That way you can okay. get a little more used to it. Okay. And here's all the controls. So you just use <laughs> attack and your special. I think I can get and, a hang of that. Yeah, and then you can choose like a god that represents your monsters in the game. So I usually, I'm just going to throw mines on random. Murakon. Yeah. And I love this game. So it's sort of like a Lovecraft game where you'll see here we'll have four people. We're all friends at one time and then we turn on each other. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and it's going to be, the, let's see who can make it for the whole dungeon and beat the boss. So, like, you end up, when you die in this, you become ghost, and then you, if you kill the other player, you come back to life. Mm. And you try to beat the last boss by level 10, and then if you can't, all the ghosts win. But you're trying to escape the dungeon alive. Okay. So there's just constant, like, team changing and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Every detail of the ritual accounted for but one. If they do draw contact with the void, who of them would remain to drink its ancient gift? Strange. He could feel their gaze still. And you go into these circles and you'll push A and you'll possess a monster. And then you try to kill me. And I try to kill you guys to get out of this room. Am I this slug? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And then you can possess other things in level to attack me. With A. A is attack? Yeah. Trying to figure out where I'm at. I think you're right up here. You're possessed inside that thing, so. Oh. You can push A to shoot your thing. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's yeah. one of these games that uh, you usually learn, and then once you get from there, you can pick up. And then as a hero, you can come in here and buy better weapons and uh, other things like charms that do stuff to you. So I'm still in the other room. No, you're one of these ghosts floating around. Which color are you? You're the oh, blue okay. ghost. Okay, and you'll I pick up these little ectoplasms, and you can throw down little slimes to attack me. Okay. I'm gonna stick with what I got. Where's my money? It's down here. Well, like when you're every time you hit him, you'll gain money. Okay. And then let's see, I'll get here this way. I'm just having a hard like am I am I able to attack you right yeah, now? No, not as a ghost, but you can go in one of these circles and make a monster. And push A, and then you can use B button oh. and the A button to attack me. And then, yeah, B probably, I think B makes you throw your spear when you're a monster. You, you get different monsters, and you can level up your monsters too. So at the end of the le each little level. So, oh, okay, so you can just possess whatever object. You yep, want. and then, like, throw at me like that. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, once you get it down, I'm it's pretty easy. Down. Yeah, monsters have a speed button too, so like that wolf can shoot a thing out. Now you're the human. Oh, okay. And you gotta beat all the monsters in the room before you can move on. The 
this is definitely like one of my favorite party games. Oh, it's yeah. quick and easy. Yeah, and those pearls take you back so you can look at your weapon. So that's it's this weapon's worth less, but that one right there that you're looking at, but it does more damage and more speed. So that's a good buy. Yeah. yeah. Now you don't have any you only okay. have eight gold left, okay. so So B is dodge, okay. Yeah. You definitely don't want to break things as a human because it lets out more ghost plasm. Oh, okay. Is there a radar? <laughs> no, you gotta just find a place. Let's find a place to kill monsters. Yeah, and get out. There we go. And you gotta break those red crystals before moving on. Now you can go through that door down there. First player reaches level 10 can go through and try to challenge the boss. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. And now you can level up your monsters into like different monsters, better versions. Minotaur. <laughs> you know, you don't have enough points to go up to the Minotaur quite yet. Oh, I don't. Okay. But you can level up like your fish or your spear guy into something else. <laughs> How cool, dude. Yeah, it's a pretty wild game. Okay. Sweet. that statue over there you can possess to get a big monster. Which one? Uh, the guy got it, one of the NPCs. I like this game quite a bit. I played it a lot on my YouTube channel here. Ah. school pixels to a two. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's almost like 
uh, ColecoVision or like like pre NES. Yeah. And each monster has oh, a special B button too, so when you hit the B button, you'll do something different. He, I think, runs away or rams him with his horns. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty fun because you get pretty crazy creatures. Yeah. Any mini rounds could step in for you. Huh? I'm not sure what color you are. I think you're the monster, not the monster right now, but I think you're the player. You ready? I'm red. No, leave my slime alone. This is me, I'm a slime. No. No! <laughs> Are you the character? <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. Go back down there. there. Go back up here. That's the stairs. To go to the next area. Oh, okay. No, to the right. Remember, the stairs lead the way. I know it's been a while since you played. Oh, now you, there's some kind of slime. There's a slime in here. You gotta fight the slime. You gotta fight both the slimes. You have to talk closer to the mic there, so I can hear you. Can, can you hear I talk? Me now? Yeah, okay. I can hear you fine now. I'm gonna get you though. I'm not gonna get by my yellow balls. I guess you did pretty easy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh gosh. I do not think I'm going to stay the group up very much longer. <laughs> Your fish went ow. I had to. Oh no, I didn't want to challenge the boss. Well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to attack the guy. Yeah. I couldn't remember what I was supposed to do there. I got like the perfect set for fighting this boss. Yep, I got turned into a chicken. Victorious at the Library Comic Con. Look at that. I survived. I lived to see another dungeon. Boss huh? Boss killer. Yeah, I'm boss killer. I should see if you get any more other people to come play in here. But yeah, guys, this was a recording today. It was, we got to play a little bit with 8-Bit Guy before he had to run back to his panel. And this is any Mini Buns. I'll be posting this up on the YouTubes later. So catch you guys later. Bye-bye.